Last year, as a hurricane was closing in on New York, a friend of Olivier Teskin set out to visit her grandmother to make sure that she was okay. That story was the inspiration for his new collection, The Theory. Sounds like a modern fairy tale to me. I sort of like that link existing between, you know, modern girl and some things from the past. Like we have a link with this other generation. And maybe grandma was rich or maybe there are some remains of things that exist from her own life. It's not charming to try old clothes. It's more interesting to pick up some of the few things that are still right and cool and good. It's very playful and fun and youthful. I love the fact that he can take these vintage looking jackets and add a sparkle to them and make them look so young and new and fresh. I also love the idea of doing an oversized jacket with a very skinny short short. It was stunning, but I can't wear those shorts. Those little leather shorts, I wish I could wear those shorts. You don't have the legs for them? Not in line with my look. There's always that contrast. There's the shorts and the clothes that look quite tough, and then there's this gold over the top, like something spun over the top of the toughness. They don't feel charming. I like this feeling of armory. Like some of his embroidered jackets that I did in the gold or shiny felt more rock and roll those beaded jackets. I think they are superb. Every girl is going to want these jackets. Everyone. Those dresses that are so outrageous to the eye, but you see them over and over in his collection and you get so trained to love them, you want to have them. I love that navy dress that came out with the super full front and back. I think that's very new for him. Olivier has a long time fascination with fairy stories. So there is a sort of Little Red Riding Hood element in this, in a way, isn't there? It's interesting with Olivier, because since he's been in America, he's sort of evolved his fairy story into something a little bit more concrete, which is great. His feet are planted on the ground here. One difference between French fantasy and American fantasy, French fantasy tends to be a little darker. But maybe a combination of the two is a nice place, and, and hopefully we're giving him a little light, a little sunshine, a little New York love. <laughs> <laughs>